Good morning, everybody. It is September 20th, 2021. We're going to be doing a card of the day of focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by spirit, higher power, universe, God, whatever you call upon. My job is not to push my belief system onto you. My job is to show you how to empower yourself so you can keep moving forward and elevating in this thing called life. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone is born with intuition. Not everyone listens to their intuition, as you can see the state of the world. With that being said, we have a couple of announcements. Please remember that the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademarked, copyrighted, and registered in several different classifications with the United States government. Any duplication of my content is subject to legal recourse as guided by my lawyer. Also, please be aware that I do not solicit any services from anyone ever. There are plenty of accounts that are stealing my pictures and reposting, and I need you guys to use your common sense. I've never solicited anyone for services, and I've been doing this work since I was 14, okay? So, I don't solicit. Spirit will always bring me the people that I need to work with, that I need to collaborate with, and that, that I need to learn from. And I know that, and I've seen it, and I believe it. So, if you get a direct message, and um, a direct message, uh, a solicitation under a comment, Anything of that nature of under social media, I don't do that. I don't do it. So please do not fall for those scams. Do not get upset at me because you've been scammed. I need you guys to use common sense. I have a website. I've had a website for the last five years. Four years going on five, they're telling me. So correction. The almighty pineapple.com. It's a legitimate business. I pay taxes. I have a tax ID number, thealmightypineapple.com. That's where you can book my services virtually. That's where you can book my services in person. And that's where you can purchase my products, which we have over 250 products that me and my family create and curate as well. With that being said, today is the full moon in Pisces. Full moon in, full moon in Pisces community ritual is this evening. The cutoff is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I begin at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested and feel led to join, please go to the website, search Community Ritual, or you can find it on the in-person or digital services page. There you go. This Saturday, coming up, September 25th, 2021, is the Community Reading. The Community Reading is a really great way to get, a know, get to know who I am and see if I am a spiritual advisor for you. It's a place where you can check me out and see if our energies resonate with one another. It's $20. You join a group setup on Zoom. And with that, you also are allowed to ask one question or ask to see what spirit or the universe has for you today to focus on. What usually happens is that when you ask a question, nine times out of ten, anybody else's question literally will apply to you. Also, it will build a beautiful community of like-minded, like spirit. Again, only if you're led to do so. As I always say, please follow your intuition when working with any spiritual advisor, even if that means you do not work with me, okay? So I think I've gotten all the announcements. Um, thank you again for everyone who purchased for the pre-ordered schedule sale this last Saturday. The mojo envelopes and the pendants are available on the website. Again, please do not get scammed. The website, thealmightypineapple.com. Nine times out of ten, these scam artists will take all my pictures. We found an account last night that took over 30 of my pictures with only one post on it. We blocked them. We have an app tracker as well that copies our pictures. So again, we have an app for that. But I put that on the Instagram. No, my assistant put it on the Instagram stories. I apologize. But we are trying to keep you guys aware and alert to the best of our ability. But again, do not fall for it please and thank you so the card of the day is coming from the adinkra ancestral guidance cards by simone brezzi ando she's no longer with us these cards are no longer in publication um she's somebody that i actually personally met and i think she's amazing she crossed over earlier this year and this is her deck and this is one of my favorite decks so with that being said the card of the day is called akoko nain 
This means leg of a hen. And the quote that goes with this card is, the hen treads on her chicks, but she does not kill them. And akoko naim means this, nurturing and discipline. There is a need to assert your boundaries in a firm but nurturing way. Being both protective and corrective is an ideal goal of a parent. Learn to apply this skill to many aspects of your lives and relationships. Additional meanings for this card. Teach people how to treat you. Enforce now and reap the rewards later. Lead by example. I did a, a personal event over the weekend and I think it was really great. I was at a baby shower and I was literally doing four hours of readings. And one theme that I noticed within this, you know, within this dynamic is that so many people kept doing so many things and sacrificing themselves for everybody else, but did not take care of themselves first. They thought it was their job to serve their family, but not to serve themselves. How are you going to have people look at you in a specific type of way if you keep allowing a specific type of behavior to manipulate, abuse, and take advantage? I don't care if it's family, if it's friends, if it's colleagues, if it's coworkers, if it's neighbors, if it's lovers, if it's partners, I don't care who it is. If people are taking advantage of you and you don't feel appreciated, then you need to stop the behavior. You need to start setting boundaries. You need to start saying no. No is a full sentence. I understand you may feel guilty, but you really don't feel guilty. You feel obligated. There's a difference. And because you've been doing it for so long, they continue to treat you that same way. And you really can't get mad at them for how they treat you because you've allowed that behavior. Yeah, setting your boundaries can be difficult because, again, people are used to you doing whatever you need to do for them, but not what you need to do for you. Kind of confusing. You're the first person in this world. You're the first person you can count on. So why not treat yourself at the best? And I'm not saying don't take care of your responsibilities. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. I'm an elder. I have all these responsibilities. But I'm a woman first. I'm an individual first. I'm a person first. I need to fill my own cup first before I can help anybody else. How the fuck does that sound? You want me to serve you, but I'm not even taking care of me. So why would you even want to fuck with me? Why would you even want a reading for me? Why would you even want to, you know, like get down with me on that level when I'm constantly depleted or I'm constantly in my head or I'm constantly upset or I'm constantly just blah because of the world, because the world's getting to me because I don't feel right. How does that, how does that help? Y'all need to watch what it is you do and who you do it with. Whether that's a therapist, whether that's a doctor, whether that's a counselor, whether that's a partner, whether that's a, a husband, whether that's a wife, whether that's your children. I'm not saying to walk away from these situations and these people. I'm just saying, watch what it is you're doing and watch what you're allowing to happen in your life. And then you wonder why, because people keep walking over you because you don't speak up, because you don't say no, because you don't say, you know what, I'm not okay. Because everyone wants to pretend that they look great, that they feel great that they are great. I literally had people at my table at a baby shower. I was just doing mini readings and I had people in tears. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that the things that I was telling them was touching them in such a way that they realized that they needed to change. They needed a different trajectory. So I hope I helped. I hope I put some things in perspective. I hope I made you feel better. As I always say, please follow your intuition when working with any spiritual advisor, even that means you do not work with me. Matter of fact, Pray, meditate, do the one-two combo, do your basics, get back to basics, take care of you, take care of you, take care of you, okay? Because if you don't, nobody else will. Yeah, you'll have other people take care of you, but you know what you need better than they do. I love y'all. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to this channel, like I said before. Again, I hope this helps. Be true to you. How about that? Have a great day.